All right, I wanted to try to make a quick video and explain what's going on with the BTH. Um, I showed off uh, last time uh, what it could be, but uh, they looked into it. So all the formulas are right. There wasn't a mistake there. The post that IMR posted is messed up. They're looking into fixing that. Uh, but after uh, really thinking about it, talking, uh, chatting to Cray on the um, on Discord, uh, this is what I think is going on. Um, they are considering some things that they didn't uh, give me too much examples, but uh, what they may do. But I wanted to kind of revisit why we've gotten here. So some of this is pretty obvious. Some of this, if you're not aware, maybe uh, educational, but uh, forgive me for some of this. So like the old days, back years ago, this section here, uh, the stat cap used to be 200 and the level cap was 130. Uh, builds usually uh, would have three stats to 200. And then um, at some point later, I, I remember they could have up to 100 more stats and something else. You can still do this. Some people do actually do this. Some people think it's a waste. You might as well just cap your... Um, actually, I think this is 150. Uh, some people may actually uh, think it's better to not do it this way. Just do 250 across the board. But anyway... Uh, the pure build up until recently was always a main stat, dex plus luck. Dex um, was mostly used as a BTH thing. You know, it was basically, you had 18.75 BTH from main stat, 18.75 from dex, and you had your little bit from luck. That was the pure build um, as far as, especially as far as uh, the monster is concerned. Back when the cap was 200, this system mathematically created an 85% accuracy with the 15% block rate. That is pure build versus pure build. The math back in the day was perfect. Most monsters are created with the structure in mind. Uh, most of them had, a main, like I said, a main stat plus dex. Uh, from there, they'll either have luck or end as their third stat. There are a few exceptions, but the vast majority of monsters are built this way. And there's, they've been built this way. Even probably monsters we've see, may see created right now may still be built built this way. All right. So years ago, they raised the stats uh, cap to 250. At some point before or after that same time, I don't remember what the order how it went. The level cap was raised to 150. Staff never adjusted. This is key. They never adjusted the hit rates. The math equation that was here. Uh, to change it to maintain 85% hit rates. So with the stat increases, what that did for the player was it increased their hit rates closer to 92%. I think the actual number is 91.5. You can round up to 92. Okay, so 92%. That's worst case scenario. If you're fighting against a non-pure monster, which would mean they don't have luck, which is 6.25, that actually pushes you almost to 100% right there. Um, so, so I don't know how many years it's been. It's been three or four years, I think, that players have enjoyed increased hit rates. So they have this, this mindset ingrained in their brains. Now, some players may have started playing after this happened and they've never played the game with the old hit rates so for them this is really a shocker when they they're used to hitting and hitting and hitting and now all of a sudden they don't hit with the extra bth many play, players simply choose negative bth lean weapon spells pets and guests it wouldn't hardly notice a change to accuracy especially against non-pure builds and get all the benefits of the damage buff so obviously when you go negative 5 BTH lean, the damage increases. You know, if you have weapons that already have built-in damage increases and they have the negative BTH lean, they're not only landing pretty often, they're hitting hard. And they're so used to it, they think that it's normal. Uh, monster builds remain unchanged, meaning they 
typically have main stat, dexterity, and luck. And typically it's 275 main stat, 250 dex, 225 luck. This is key to what I'm about to talk about. Now the stat revamp came along. They decoupled dexterity from magic and melee attacks for BTH. That was 18.75 lost from dexterity, but then they basically gained that 18.75 or they doubled it uh, for magic and melee attacks. Dexterity, it was always that way. And plus luck for max accuracy. Okay, so max accuracy remained 92%. Okay, but now it came from main came from two stats instead of three. Charisma was left untouched. This is also key, as staff said that they did not want to touch charisma until after everything else was done. And dexterity still remains to give them the 18.75 BTH at 250 dexterity. Okay. This changed the definition of pure build for players to main stat plus luck plus end. Okay. Players now that is the the uh, the pure build. They get max accuracy. Okay. However, dexterity right at that point still provided the the lion's share of blocking. Staff changed ranged damage and decoupled it from strength. This created the ranger, quote unquote ranger. So a ranger is dexterity, luck, and endurance. And it gave them near melee damage, but also a shitload of more blocking than mages and warriors. It's unbalanced. So now we come to stat revamp phase two. And this is the attempt to rebalance the blocking aspect of the stat revamp. In an attempt to even out the playing field for player blocking, blocking was dropped to 5 points from dex from 25, and luck dropped from 6.25 to 5. However, the 5 blocking from dexterity is now no longer considered within standards, and is considered extra for ranger builds. So the 85% hit rate does not assume dexterity. It assumes Honestly, it just ex it assumes same level versus same level, and you have luck, and they have luck. If they don't have luck, you gained 5 accuracy. If you don't have luck, you lost 5 accuracy. To counter this, melee was given a damage buff, and range was given this ramp-up test, which I don't like. But anyway, BTH was altered, and monster blocking BTH was altered, so that blocking overall is now back at 85% after several years. This 85% is assuming pure build versus pure build and no BTH leans in armors, weapons, spells, pets, guests, etc. So that's like a mage versus a mage. Int end luck. Or it could be int charisma luck. As long as you have a main stat in luck and the other monster has a main stat in luck, then it's 85%. Mathematically, that's fine. But there's a problem. Everyone's noticing. I've been playing the last couple days and I notice it's massive. The BTH problem the stat revamp has created. Players were used to 95% accuracy or higher based on the old system. So part of it is in our own heads. We have players... Um, that never knew the 85% system before. It's not fair to them, but this is the problem that staff creates when they don't deal with problems immediately. And I've said this over and over and over. They could use negative leans and hardly notice while enjoying the damage they gave. The new blocking strategy means all builds enjoy some blocking, where before there were a few builds who could never block. Like before, if you didn't train dexterity, you can't block. Unless you, I mean, just without, like, blind and different things. You just couldn't block. Now everyone gets to block. Everyone gets to block. While this means all players, regardless of build, can enjoy playing the overpowered blocking meta, so, too, do all monsters now enjoy this also. So now all, all monster builds have some kind of blocking. Okay. Keep that in mind. 
Even a monster without dexterity and luck have some blocking, where before they did not. Now that all monsters enjoy blocking, pets and guest accuracy is now even worse versus everything. A non-dex trained beastmaster versus a pure build monster has lost 18.75 dexterity from uh, ABTH from dexterity, seven from the changes. That's 25.75 BTH lost. And here's the cherry on top. Revisit how monsters are almost always made. They have main stat, dexterity, and some other third stat. Dexterity is an additional five blocking. Because many old monster builds utilize dexterity for BTH, now they have ret retained blocking due to the increases in MRM. So you notice they increased MRM to offset this, but offset the, the, the loss from deck stats. But they also enjoy plus 25 on top. Player average hit rate is not actually 85% right now due to old monster builds. On paper, it would be. It's actually 80 because most monsters trained dexterity. This is assuming you train luck, and many players have abandoned luck. Luck has lost initiative, uh, hyper crits taken a hard hit. The reasons to train luck are becoming less and less. This change actually has given luck back some things, and that's a good thing. If you don't have luck, it's 6.25% less. So now that 85 assumption, which dropped to 80 because of how most monsters stat spread is, is now down to 73.75. Now if you're using a negative 5 BTH lean weapon or spell, it's now down to 68.75. That's a far cry from 92%. What about pets guests for a lucky beast mage? Or if you wanted to do like a uh, backlash build. That's negative 18.75 from no decks. Minus 7 from the change. Minus 5 from the monster decks. That's a 30.75 BTH loss versus the standard. Down to 54.25% hit rate for a lucky beast mage versus a pure monster. This doesn't even account for negative leans on pets and guests. You would have under 50% hit rate if your pet had a negative 5 BTH lean right now. So yes, there is problems here. Emergency solutions that I propose, staff needs to immediately decouple dexterity from pets and guests BTH. This 18.75 is needed. They need to double up it, double it up on charisma like they did the uh, intelligence and strength. They need to remove the extra five blocking from dexterity on the monster side. This will make monsters easier it will make dexterity kind of a worthless stat. But I think they're going to need to change the monsters as they as they go. Little by little. I think they need to add it back in a year or two when they can make these changes. That should give... That should make it even. And then players will need to understand that BHH is no longer free as it was before, and leans are going to matter as positive BTH lean items are now going to gain some favorability once again. And I didn't add one more because I ran out. I was going to do a new line and you wouldn't be able to see the rest of this. But the fourth thing is, this actually gives luck something back, which is good. Um, they actually are going to have that five blocking, which is going to be noticeable, and this, and it's going to be noticeable on your BTH. So that's a positive there. Um, so that's a quick rundown, and I hope that that explains it all. Thank you.